a step closer towards euthanasia, a practice still illegal in France. The National Ethics Advisory Council has voiced support for the idea of assisted dying in cases where the patients are near the end of life, an opinion that may mark a turning point in the long debate. Does our death belong to us? And can we decide on the conditions under which we wish to have assistance in dying? It's the committee's role to be a compass for both our citizens and also politicians to try to move forward on such a complex subject. Since 2016, Doctors in France can keep terminally ill patients sedated only if their condition is causing them great suffering and is likely to lead to a quick death. Once they're in deep sleep, life-sustaining treatments for the patient are halted, but stops short of allowing assisted dying, a law insufficient for associations that defend the right to die with dignity. More than 9 out of 10 French citizens want this change. It's because they wish to have the right to choose. The laws that are in place today were made for those standing around the bed. From now on, it should be that each of us can make a decision for our final moment. In neighboring Belgium, euthanasia has been legal for 20 years. This photo was taken less than three hours before euthanasia. Catherine guarded her mother's bedside until the end, surrounded by relatives. The memory I have of my mother is that of a woman who went towards her destiny, but not at all as a victim. President Emmanuel Macron has announced the launch of a national debate on the possibility of legalizing assisted dying, with the aim of amending the law by next year.